Bacon pancakes, making bacon pancakes. Get some bacon then and put it in a pancake. Bacon pancakes. Hey y'all, welcome back again this week. This is Hans. We are finally getting to the full review of the Sightmark Wraith HD, and I know that we've been talking about it a lot. Uh, we've reviewed it a lot on the Late Night Vision show. Finally had a chance to sit down, uh, put together a video for it, because I've had this out in the field for the last three weeks. There's a lot to say about it. One of the most anticipated scopes, uh, night vision scopes to come out in a very, very long time. I know over at Outdoor Legacy Gear, uh, they pre-sold many of these, and they've already sent those out, and now they're starting another pre-sale list right now. So if you're interested in this, you need to go check it out at OutdoorLegacyGear.com. But we're going to get into the, the full review of the Sightmark Wraith HD. First thing we're going to do is go over the specs. Uh, we're going to walk around the scope and show you some of the different features. You'll definitely get to see some video with it, uh, hogs and deer at different ranges, and we'll make sure that we put those ranges in there for you so you can get a good idea. Uh, but at the end of the video, we'll go over the likes and dislikes. But right now, we're going to go over the specs uh, in detail, and we'll do some walk around of the scope. All right, so this is the Sightmark Wraith HD. So just to go over the specs right now, this is a... It starts out on a four power magnification, uh, goes up to 32 power. It's got a 50 millimeter objective lens on it. It's a 1080p digital, uh, it's got 1080p digital imaging and it's got a built-in uh, video recorder. Now with the video recorder, you're gonna have to put in an, a micro SD card into the side right there. Uh, and it also has a plug-in for power as well. Uh, but it does have the internal video recording. It does record to the micro SD card uh, when you put that in there. Um, it does record in 1080p, so the videos that you're going to get and see are going to be in very high quality, uh, which is a great feature as well. Um, and really just to uh, uh, make sure that you understand uh, some of the ins and outs of this scope, uh, first of all, you have uh, how to focus it. Basically, you have a IP diopter focus right here on the front. you got a little dial right here. And then you have a uh, objective lens focus right here on this dial. So you can focus the eyepiece and you can focus the objective lens. So like I said, it does start out on a four power base magnification, pretty high magnification. Uh, but really when you're uh, taking a look through it and you can see uh, in some of the videos that you'll see right now from, you know, hogs and deer over 150 yards, you can see them very well. Uh, and you can zoom in even further than that. It does have an eight power or eight times digital zoom. It's got 10 different reticle options to choose from, nine different color reticles to choose from. You can set this up to be able to shoot, have five different rifle profiles. So if you want to sight it in on one rifle, save the settings, put it on another rifle, you can do so as well. The power uh, source on this, it runs on four AA batteries. I would suggest putting some lithium batteries in there. I think if you just put some uh, little cheap AA batteries, you'll get about you know a couple hours of continuous runtime. With lit lithium batteries, you'll probably get double that. Uh, I've been running lithium batteries, and I've had good, good results with that. It's been pretty warm outside. I know in colder weather, it's going to run down those batteries uh, a little bit more. Uh, so it runs, the scope itself run, runs on four AA batteries. The IR light that mounts to the top, uh, right here on the back, it runs on uh, two of the CR123A batteries, uh, and those go right there in the back. So this IR light comes with it. Uh, it has a mounting option right here on the top with a Picatinny rail. You can actually switch sides to see which side you want to mount it on. I, I mounted it on the right-hand side because I like to I focus with my left on my, on my non-shooting hand. Um, so I had to kind of switch it around, mounted it on the right with that Picatinny rail. There was some concern and some questions as far as um, before these scopes come out, came out, is the IR, IR light going to be uh, good, in, good enough, throw out enough uh, light to be able to see a long ways away? And, and I'll say that uh, with this scope, I was able to clearly see and ad identify hogs and deer at 200 yards with no problem at all. And even uh, much further than that, I was able to ID deer. Um, and so I, this light was a concern before these came out, but now that they're out, not a concern at all. The light is good enough. If you want to put another IR light on there, uh, something a little bit better, you can. But really, with uh, I found it to be good enough, great enough, and uh, more than capable, to, capable of seeing and shooting hogs um, you know, out to 150, no problem at all. And even further, a few on a, on a nice night. 
Um, so that's a, a little bit about the specs of the scope. Now, the price of it's four ninety nine. dollars Really, again, a lot of the, um, uh, you know, excitement about this scope, not only is it a full color HD during the day scope, but also the, the price point at four ninety nine. Those were a couple of the, the major factors that got people excited. So it is during the day. It is a full color HD. You look through it. It's just like you're almost looking through a regular scope as far as the color and everything else, which is a change from the Sightmark Photons. Uh, Sightmark Photon during the day we had more of a gray scale to it. This is full color HD, uh, and it does record in uh, in the uh, 1080p. So if you record during the day, record at night, you're going to get great videos. I've got a lot of buddies that de that deer hunt. Uh, and they want to hunt with this during the day and record their deer hunts during the day. And this is a, a good unit for them to be able to do so. So that's a, t a quick look at the uh, the specs um, and, and a little bit about the walk around of the scope. You got to see it. Now, one thing I want to mention is um, the mount that's mounted on this scope right now. This is a, a Sightmark QD mount. This does not come with the scope. It comes with a regular uh, just uh, bracket mount that that screws on there. Um, if you, uh, purchase the site Mark Wraith, or let's say you have the site Mark Wraith right now, and you're just watching this video, just, to just to check it out. You're going to want to get this, uh, QD mount. You can get it from outdoorlegacygear.com. There's not a lot of places that have it really, uh, outdoorlegacygear.com is one of the few places that you can find it. Um, not very expensive, less than a hundred dollars for this mount, but this will allow you to take this scope off and mount it on multiple rifles. And uh, that way, you know, you can switch it in and out of rifles and not have to re-sight in the scope every time you do it. But you're going to want to get this QD mount. Uh, you, you know, like I said, you can contact uh, Jason over at Outdoor Legacy Gear and get that uh, set up for you. But it does not come with it. This is an additional purchase. Everything else that you see on the scope, uh, it comes with, you know, the IR mount, the brackets. Um, you know, it's got the rubber flip over cover on it uh, that covers the lens when you're not using it. Um, but let's get to some video right now, and on the other side of that, we'll go over the likes and dislikes. All right, so as you can see, the Sightmark Wraith, you got to see some video. So it does have a traditional night mode that you can look at, you know, that's similar to every other IR scope out there on the market. It has a, has a unique green mode, which um, is not on the, the Sightmark Photon, so it's kind of new. Um, I, I didn't particularly, it's not a, a mode that I would use, the, the green, green mode, um, but it didn't look bad. It didn't look terrible, but it's not something that I would use. Uh, I'd use the more traditional IR uh, looking screen. Uh, and then it does have the daytime mode. So three different modes on it. Really what I like about the scope, it's got a first thing, it's a $499 night scope. I mean, you really, that's uh that in itself is, is a great deal. But like I said, when these, before these scopes came out, since this is a new model, there was some concern of, about performance. Um, and uh, you know, all the way down the line. Was it going to perform well? Is there going to be glitches? Is there going to be any problems with it at all? I've had this out for three weeks now. 
Um, I have not had any issues at all. I'm shooting it on a Diamondback 308 AR-10. Uh, it, the rifle kicks hard. I mean, and and I've shot many rounds through that uh, rifle with this scope mounted on top. Didn't have an issue with it losing zero. Uh, shot hogs with this scope um, and never had a problem with it not holding zero. Um, also, the light, I, I thought, is a very good positive. The light is more than sufficient for what you need. Uh, to uh, to get out there and hunt right away, seeing and taking shots at, at 200 yards, I don't think is going to be a problem. Um, it, like I said, if you want to upgrade to another IR, you can, but you really you really don't need to. I mean, it really does a does a good job. I think the battery situation is okay. You know, four AA's is not uh, uncommon, and the the IR light runs on a CR123A. Um, that's not a problem at all. The menu set up and the menu functions one of the easiest scopes that i've found to get set up and ready to go uh, you get your menu dial right here um, it's just a series of buttons you can go in and and uh, change a lot of different options and different settings but really easy to manage very easy to sight in i, I had this rifle sighted in in uh, about three shots and to me if i can sight in a rifle in three shots that's that's doing pretty good it's not going to be that way for everybody you know sometimes you get on there and the, the scope's kind of sitting not perfect on the rail and you might have to uh, adjust some things but for me put that qd mount right on that rail i was able to get it sighted in uh like i said in a very quick amount of time uh the the focus ring is a little tight but uh, when I say tight, I mean, it's a little bit hard to turn, but it held focus for me. At, at, if I took a shot, um, if I was, uh, you know, if the animals were moving in different directions, it really didn't lose focus at all. I didn't have any problems with that. The eyepiece uh, diopter focus was good as well. It's got the rubber cap on it, which I like because it keeps me from scoping my forehead. Uh, and and uh, I think that's a, that's a good thing. And I always use those on all the scopes that I have. But um Really, it comes down to the the price and the fact that this is a full color HD during the day uh, and at night uh, infrared good quality scope. Uh, it does have the internal video recording. It does record in 1080p, high quality, high definition videoing, and uh, it's four hundred ninety nine dollars. I mean, for five hundred bucks, you can get out right now and go and hunt coyotes and hunt hogs and do so in a very effective way. Uh, I've showed this scope to a lot of my friends around here and uh, they, they all uh, want this scope after seeing it because they're very impressed with the way it performs. Um, You know, with any uh, IR type of uh, scope, you know, if you're hunting in brush, you're going to have difficulty. If you're hunting in tall grass, you're going to have difficulty, but you're going to have that same problem with any night vision scope because it throws that infrared beam and it's bouncing off all the objects and it'll come back and and hit the scope and it kind of blinds you for a little bit but um you know that's just what you get with a a night vision scope but uh, i will say the only um negative that i can say about this scope at all and and trust me i've really thought about uh, i've put it through the ringer in the last three weeks the only thing i can say negative is it's kind of heavy i mean it's a heavy it's a heavy scope you know when you put it on your rifle you can definitely feel it um, it's, you know, it, it, it's all there. It is solid. Uh, so other than the fact that it's, it's a, a little bit heavy, um, I, I couldn't find anything wrong with the scope and the performance and the use, uh, in the ease of use and the functionality really couldn't find nothing wrong with it at all. So, uh, if you're interested in scope and you want to get your hands on it, um, they are, they are gone quick. They're going quick and they are gone quick. Uh, the first round of scopes that were sent out to site mark to the dealers, um, you know, have, have already been sent out and, and, uh, and sold for all the people on the pre-order list. They're starting another pre-order list. If you're watching this video right now, you know, this was filmed in, in, uh, April of 2019. Some people may see this several months down the road and availability may be just fine and you can get them anywhere. But right now this video is coming out pretty much right when this scope comes out. So they're thinking there might be another round of scopes coming in, uh, sometime, uh, early summer. Or early to midsummer. So you, if you are interested in the scope, you need to get on the pre-order list before they shut down the pre-order list again uh, and get ready for another round of, of uh, scopes to be coming in and, and shipped out. If you have any questions about it at all, you can comment to this video as always. Uh, and you can uh, contact Jason at Outdoor Legacy Gear. That's 877-350-1818. Uh, you can also always get on uh, to the OutdoorLegacyGear.com website and go check us out on uh, Jason and I's podcast the late night vision show you can find it on itunes google play 
um, you know, anywhere that you can go listen to, uh, to podcasts, you can find it there, uh, you know, audio only, or go check us out on YouTube, the late night vision show. You can subscribe to our channel. You can see Jason and I, and some of our silly faces that we make when we're recording video. Uh, but that, that podcast is growing like crazy. The YouTube channel is growing like crazy. And we talk about, uh, scopes and hunting, uh, every week, this kind of stuff, we do reviews. We've already done the, our review of the site, Mark Wraith on that show last week. Uh, so go check that out. Please go subscribe as always. Thank you for joining me. Uh, you know, we're always on this channel looking at the new scopes that come out, uh, and we are reviewing them, putting through, through the test. We're shooting hogs and coyotes with them. And, you know, if you see it on this channel, uh, it's, it means it's a good scope. I, I don't re review scopes that I feel are aren't, aren't adequate enough for, for uh, the people that watch this channel to go out and buy. So if you see the scope on this channel, uh, just know that it's a it's a unit worth taking a look at. So this is the Sightmark Wraith HD, $499. Go check it at OutdoorLegacyGear.com. Thank you for joining me this week. Uh, Y'all stay safe in the fields. Keep making those bacon pancakes. Thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, you can do so by just clicking on the Hansi's Texas logo right below me. Also, the Late Night Vision Show podcast. To subscribe to that YouTube channel, just hit this logo right here to the left. And to watch related videos, you can hit right down there in the corner. As always, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing, sharing, liking, and keep making them bacon pancakes.